fifth gen that we've been working on for over two years. Bruce Hansen's SST twin turbocharged monster. Really proud of it and I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so this is a twin turbo 388 hot rod series in a 2010 Camaro. A lot of really special features on this. We've got this really cool water to air intercooler. Um, we've done electronic boost control. So it's got dual electronic solenoids going to a custom block where you can control horsepower from inside the car. You can change all sorts of settings on how it ramps. Did a custom little overflow there. All the radiator lines, you know, handmade by us, anodized. And that's an intercooler feed. You want to fill the intercooler, you can feed it from right there. We plumbed the valve covers, bulkheaded it through the shock towers into special breather canisters. Entire intake manifold, valve covers, throttle body snout, intercooler, everything is all handmade, all the headers are handmade. Uh, some really neat things about these headers is those collectors are made from a billet. That turbo transition is made from a billet. You can get a better view of it right here. So we carved those from salt, chunks of metal. So it's pretty much like a lifetime header part. Slick piece. So after about two years of work, we're gonna take Bruce Hansen's little SST here for a spin. A lot of work into this little baby that's just, uh, we're gonna go into detail and show you, but uh, kinda give you the experience of driving around in it for right now.
回もそうなのSo what we're looking at right here is the underside of the Nelson twin turbo Camaro. I'm going to show you a couple special things. Right here what you see is these are the actual wastegate dumps that we had open. They just dump directly in into the atmosphere rather than tying back into the exhaust and being a restriction which I think is kind of neat. Plus it makes it sound really bitching when you, when you get in it because it's loud. Um, Hopefully you can see some of this stuff here. We've got the 4L85 transmission, billet torque converter, dual three inch exhaust all the way back. We've done a really special transmission cooler. Made a little air scoop for the tranny cooler. Mounted it where the fuel tanks used to be. Another special unit right here is this, it's a nine inch center section but independent so it'll take the power. But it's a full nine inch center section. G-force axles and drive shaft. Some spoon and A-arms. We've got billet faft. Uh, cradle mounts. So everything is completely rigid mounted. I'll give you an idea of some of the actual control arms. They're all on rod ends. A car like this with this kind of power needs that kind of rigidity. Uh, because it'll end up turning on you pretty quick under that kind of power. Adjustable coilovers all the way around. And we've got this back half uh, stainless exhaust. It's actually pretty nice. We've actually sectioned section the frame rail and done a tub so you can see how much room there will be when Bruce puts a real tire on there he's gonna be able to fit a 345 no problem in there because of of actually tubbing the car some other special features we got going on right here are I don't know if you can see very well but we've got twin fuel systems so two feeds two returns this one runs down this side of the frame rail. And that'll support eight of the injectors and you know, going up the bulkheads through through there. Here's a uh, breather tank for the 
valve cover itself. This is kind of a neat feature right here is this little spigot right here is a drain so when you go to the track it's got a water to air intercooler so you can just unscrew this unscrew it put your ice water back in it put it back on so each time you go do a pass uh, you could have cold ice water in there again here we go again on the second on the other fuel system with the other breather tank follows the frame rail all the way back again another shot of the actual tranny cooler we've also made this custom transmission mount that is not only a transmission mount but it's a drive shaft loop make it nice and uh, legal on this shifter. It's really solid. You know, bam! Second gear. Bam! First gear. You want to fucking, you're racing somebody, wham! Bam! I mean, it's really bitching. You ain't gonna miss a shift with a shifter like that. Another cool thing is just check out this PCS data logging dash. We set up C16 race gas cell fuel gauge and then a 93 octane fuel gauge cooling temperature we got to set the tax up but it's got a whole plethora of little information that we can get out of the dash there pretty pretty, pretty neat thing drives around like a little ho-hum machine just like everything else I mean idles at like 900 ho-hum but when you get in it it's like a freaking jet rocket ship <laughs> electronics in this thing it's fucking it's almost ridiculous but it's great because it's a challenge you know being, being a challenge is always good check this out we said we were at 12 pounds we were mistaken that was actually five and a half pounds so we've got a electronic boost controller in here which we can activate when we activate that button it's gonna add it probably about another seven pounds of boost What's really neat about that too is we put a three position switch into it. So if you're launching when you hit the when you hit the brake, you get see how the boost goes away? You let go of the brake, all the boost comes back in. So if you want a stage, you can set a stage RPM boost, whatever you want, or you can flip it this way and put it on a trans brake button, watch it go away. You can or, or you know you can set the boost up. So you could you could launch at 30 pounds, you could launch at 10 pounds. It's totally badass. So, we'll get rid of that section. Pretty neat, you can do boost by gear, boost by RPM, boost by GPS. It's really a pretty trick setup. But now that we're turning the boost up, things are gonna get a little more serious. The street tires that are on it are not that hot so I'll be getting in and out of it in and out of it but just goes to show you, you know, show you just some of the sheer brute freaking power this thing has
can you imagine how rad it would be a heads up race against the Mustang? I mean, just what it would sound like? Oh, it'd be fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> This is another neat thing about this car is you go to fill it up, stock location, and you've got your 93 fill, and then you've got your C16 fill all in the stock location. We just modified it so you won't have to fill inside the trunk and ever have a spark go off and explode. So you can always fill it from there and that's a really neat special thing. Some other neat special things are is right behind the license plate We've got a parachute mount. This is, you know, Bruce Hansen's car, and he is definitely going to be railing this at the track because we've got this legal on off switch. That way, if he's burning and he's upside down, the guys that are coming to save him can shut all the power off to the car from right there, which is pretty neat. Another little cool deal is. Uh, the actual dual fuel tank assemblies that we built into the trunk themselves. So one is for, this is your 91 octane deal, and this is your 116 octane deal. We've got fuel sensors built in for the gauge, and all the pumps are submersed inside the tanks themselves, which is a nice little setup. You know, you've got your kill and, and everything built into there. Okay, so this is the license plate here, and when Bruce wants to go to the track, this is what he'll do. Take his plate off. See that deal in the back there? That's a parachute mount. Slide the parachute mount in, hook up the parachute, and he's good for 850s. So that's pretty trick and pretty sleep sleeperish at the same deal. Also want to show you just how tight and uh, nice the cage fits the car. There's, look at these down bars. I mean, they are as tight as you are going to get to this deal. Coming through. I wish that wasn't so much glare here, but if you if you look at the these down bars, they are you they are hugging as tight as you're going to ever going to get in one of these cars. Got the provisions for a window net. So we basically gutted this entire car and then basically built it back from, from scratch. So it looks like it's all stock interior. This roll cage is certified for 850. It's got removable door bars so when he wants to go drive it, he can just unbolt it right there and not have to deal with getting in and out of the deal. But again, take a look at the fit of, it, the fit of all of this. I mean, it's made you know, really, really tight. Especially these pillar bars. Look at these pillar bars. So you take a look at these rear seats and although they look stock, we chopped these seats probably three inches and then got factory material and recovered them so it looks stock. Same with the uh, speaker trays and how they how the rear bars go through. So. You know, the intention to look stock, but very much not. You look at the dash here, multiple multiple pieces on how the dash is made here so the bar can go through. Pretty bad to the bone. Stop burning the tires, dude. Damn. Look at that fucking burnout, dude. <laughs> that was pretty, you controlled that pretty good. Ooh. Fucking dude. 
dude, it just will not stop burning the tires, dude. Damn. Look at that fucking burnout, dude. <laughs> Smoke's still coming out of the car. <laughs> Yeah. This is 